I'm sure you have heard the old tale about a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and you know no one has ever found it. Most people would say it is because there is no gold, but the real reason is that there is no rainbow. Let me explain. The waterfall you have been looking at has a very special feature. There is a rocky ledge behind the fall, and it allows you to walk around the waterfall and look at it from every possible angle. On a sunny day, you can see a shimmering rainbow in the mist produced by the falling water. That is, you can see a rainbow when you look at the waterfall from the right angle. Now look what happens when we go behind the waterfall. We can still see the waterfall and we can still see the mist, but from this angle there is no rainbow. How can that be? The reason is that the waterfall is a material phenomenon. There is physical water falling, so you can see it from any angle. The rainbow, on the other hand, is not a physical phenomenon, so you can't go and touch the rainbow. The rainbow is an optical phenomenon. It is produced by light being reflected by water drops in the air, but the rainbow is only visible from a specific viewing angle. It is kind of like a mirage in the desert, and that's why the rainbow disappears if you try to walk up to it. Do you see what I'm saying? There is no physical rainbow that exists outside of the observer. A rainbow is like beauty. It is all in the eye of the beholder. If you have two people who are looking at the waterfall from different angles, they can both see a rainbow, but it will not be the same rainbow. The rainbow seen from one vantage point is different from the one seen from a different viewing angle. Now imagine that one person gets the idea that he is seeing the only real rainbow and that the rainbows seen by other people are fake. So he attempts to convince others that he is right and if they don't believe him, he kills them. He would probably agree that there was something seriously wrong with this person's understanding of rainbows. The followers of each religion should use their religion to reach for the spiritual pot of gold at the end of their rainbow. That pot of gold is a direct experience of the God who is beyond the material world. It's called a mystical experience and millions of people have had them.
just imagine what that would do for world peace.